Um, just your uh, description of what an alternate will do. What's your uh, feeling on being an alternate? Uh, I'm really excited about it. Um, super honored. Um, you know, this club is investing in me and they see me as a big part of a team and obviously giving me an A, it's, it says a lot. So really excited about it. Um, feel a little extra pressure now to obviously be a leader out there and um, be a guy players can look up to. So, um, but I'm very honored and excited. Hey, Lars was just in here and he, and he was talking about just your progression as a player to get to this point, you know, like having those high numbers in junior, and then you have to change your game kind of to come up here, not change, but, you know, adapt to yeah. a new style. Um, just how, like, how, how good does this make you feel, I guess, at this point to, to kind of get to this point in your career, even though I know you want to do better? Yeah, no, it feels really good. Um, it's been a process since I got in. Obviously, uh, in juniors, you light it up and you do well, and uh, it's a new reality when you come to the pros and you got to take a step back and make sure you do the right things and it's a process and for me it has been um, hasn't been easy I've had to go play in AHL and obviously earn my ice time on the team and um, every year I feel like I've taken a step and obviously um, he's seen that and um, that's why he feels like he should give me an A so I'm happy about that. Alvaro, congrats. Uh, we, we've kind of talked over the years. I know you're not the most vocal of guys, but is there kind of cool that there is a, a certain amount of respect for you that they would give you this honor even though you're not kind of that way? You know, they, that kind of shows people kind of have probably been noticing what you do, but kind of just maybe a little bit behind the scenes. I mean, is it cool just that you've been able to kind of get that without being the most vocal of guys? Yeah. Um, I think there's different ways of being a leader, and, um, you know, some people are good at being vocal and, and speaking up and all that stuff. It's not my best area. Um, I can obviously improve on it, but you can't try to be someone you're not. So um, for me, it's just uh, I feel like my actions and on and off the ice and obviously um, the way I play the game, I try to go out there and work hard and lead by example. And um, I think that's what Lars has seen for me and why he feels comfortable giving me an A. Yeah, like, can you describe Boone Jenner? As a leader, you've known him for a number of years now. I've been in the room with him. What's, what's he like as a leader? What do you expect as a captain? I just think he's a great teammate. Um, he's definitely a guy who leads by example. He works his butt off every game, uh, practice. Um, he comes and is ready. So I just think his, his whole, everything he has is just, um, you know, perfect for what a captain should be. And obviously really happy for him. I think he's the right fit to be, be the captain of our team. And um, no, no. Right when I got into the league, I noticed him and the way he just battles out there. And um, at least for myself, I really look up to that. And um, I've learned a lot from watching him play, and especially with the compete. So, um, yeah, really happy for him. Oliver, congratulations, first of all. Uh, none of you guys are necessarily overly vocal leaders, but are there people that you have learned from over the course of your career? Your dad's a coach, obviously. Are there people that you have learned some leadership traits that you admire over the course of your career, whether it's in the A or here? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, when I got into the league, uh, we're in the AHL, Ryan Craig was um, the captain in the AHL. I think he was um, a great captain. He showed me the way, um, and I was really happy to have him there in, in the AHL, and I think he helped out a lot of the young guys there. Um, and obviously playing on the Blue Jackets, having Felino, the different leaders we've had on the team, I think you just learn from them. Um, and that's kind of how you figure out, you know, what a what a good leader is, and, and so on. Um, so, I don't know. Just I think in this organization we've had good leaders, and for myself, um, I've always um, tried to pay attention to what they do and um, try to learn from that. You just touched on this a few minutes ago with with the way Boone plays, you know. But when he's in the game, there's, there are times when you look out there and he's just there's bodies flying and he's like in the middle of it, right? What does that do for the bench? What does that do for the rest of the team when he's able to just kind of just go out there and, and just kind of assert his his style of play? I think you just watch that his compete level, um, and you see it. And that's one thing you can control. I mean. Some guys are going to be more skilled. Some guys are going to have the natural talent. But one thing you can control is your compete level. Um, and he brings that every night. So when you watch that, you really can look at yourself and say, there's no reason I shouldn't be working that hard. So, um, yeah, throughout the years, um, it's been times where you haven't been playing well and a lot of the times because you're not working hard enough. But you watch him and, and he puts the effort in. And I feel like it's always there. And he also, obviously, he blocks a lot of shots and all that stuff, which isn't easy, and it, it hurts. Um, but he always does it, so 
um, no, he, he leads by example and I'm um, really excited about it. Good. Thanks, Alex. That's a wrap. Thanks, Alex. Thanks, guys.